Welcome to this yoga flow for the heart chakra. Our fourth chakra, the heart chakra or anahata, is located in the chest and our heart space and it builds the bridge that connects the lower three chakras relating to the external world to the higher three chakras associated with spirituality and intuition. Therefore, the heart chakra is the mediator between body and spirit. It is attributed to acceptance, compassion and unconditional love towards yourself and others. In this yoga class, we physically work on this heart space, moving through different gentle backbends, opening up some space and removing any blockages. We also give mindful impulses to cultivate an attitude of kindness and acceptance towards yourself and others. For today's class, you need either one block or alternatively, you can use a rolled up blanket. If you don't have any of this at hand, no problem. I will show everything without the props as well. My name is Yeni and my channel is all about yoga, meditation and a conscious lifestyle. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. If you wish, follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration and then hop into something comfy and meet me on the yoga mat. We start today's class in a very gentle, heart-opening, kind of restorative posture, which is called Supta Bada Konasana. So you either take your block and you take it along the long side, or if you have to, you can have a second block here to support your head. I will show how we do it. I'll show you with the blanket because I feel like more people have this at home. So you make a roll out of your blanket and if you don't have anything, that's completely fine. So you make a roll that is comfortable and you place it along the long side of your mat and we're going to lay over this. So you carefully place your spine along your prop. If you don't have anything, just lay down on your back. So what we want to achieve is a gentle opening of the chest. Make sure your neck doesn't feel uncomfortable doing this. Alternatively, use a second prop under your head. And then if you feel you want to keep the feet the way they are, you could do that. But if you feel comfortable, you can bring the soles of the feet together and drop the knees out towards the sides. And then open your palms up to the sky either or place them onto your belly, maybe on the inside of your thighs, wherever they naturally want to go now. And just take a moment to settle into your practice. We will stay here for a couple of breaths. You can gently close the eyes. Just allow yourself to tune into this moment. So leaving everything that has happened today behind. And just enjoying how gravity pulls you down softly and how this actually opens some space in your shoulders, in your chest area. And softly begin to direct your breath into the heart space without any effort, very smooth. Gentle breathing. So while you're enjoying this restorative posture, breathing energy into your heart space, I want to cite a little quote of Rumi that I really love. Your task is not to seek for love but merely to seek and find all the barriers within you that you have built against it. Your task is not to seek for love, but to seek and find all the barriers within you that you have built against it. We so often close up this heart space not just physically hunched over our laptops or our phones, maybe with tense shoulders from the stress or from the cold, but also emotionally and mentally. Maybe we feel scarred by something that has happened to us in the past or we're afraid of what somebody could do to us. And so we kind of close up. And today we want to reverse this tendency. We really want to allow ourselves to open up, to dare, to accept ourselves the way we are, to encounter ourselves with kindness, with compassion. So really dare to breathe into the space and open it up without exaggerating, just slow, conscious breath. And 
I would like to also give you a little mantra. So whenever you feel distracted today in your practice, whenever you feel criticism coming up in your head or your mind wandering off to thoughts or worries, you can repeat to yourself, Aham Prema, which means I am love. You can just repeat it in your own language or in Sanskrit, Aham Prema, I am love. A nice way to recenter yourself to today's intention over and over throughout the practice. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then softly side out. Let's do that again. Cleansing breath in through the nose. Let it all go through the mouth. One more inhale. And letting go. And then maybe use your hands to bring the knees together. Stand the feet up and then roll onto one side. Just bring the knees onto one side, roll off your prop. And then just stay for a little moment for your spine to rebalance. You can support your head. Keep your eyes closed just for a little moment. Establish a smooth breath in and out through the nose. Maybe a soft ujjayi breath. And then press the upper hand into the ground and slowly roll your way up onto all fours. Take your prop aside. We begin warming up our spine with cat's cow stretches. So inhaling, lifting the tailbone and the chest. And the exhale, round for cat back. Really puff up that upper back. Inhale, drop the belly, send the heart forward, lift the tailbone. We do that again. Exhale round, draw the navel in, press the back up to the sky, opening up the back door of your heart. Inhale, curve the back, send the heart forward and lift your chin slightly. Let's do a couple of rounds. Exhale, really round here, press away from the ground, draw the lower belly in. Inhale, open up, create space, good. Last one, exhale round, lead with the tailbone and then really press away from the ground and inhale, open up some space. Very good. Come back into a neutral spine on your exhale. On the inhale, send the right leg forward and the left arm back. Now bend the arm, bring the thumb onto the shoulder, bend the leg and bring the heel towards your bum. And then inhale, lift your elbow and your knee higher, really open up the chest and exhale round. Bring the elbow and the knee together in front of the body. Inhale, open up and see how far you can go so you feel your back activating. Exhale, round, good. We do two more. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, round. Inhale, create a lot of space. Exhale, round. Now inhale, open up. And exhale, grab a hold of that ankle. If that doesn't work, just stay wherever you land, but maybe you can grab a hold of the ankle and then press with the foot into the hand, open the chest. If this is too much for you, you could always just stay with arm and leg extended. Either way, keep your smooth breath. Feel those little balancing movements of the body. Take another deep breath in. And fully out. And then extend arm and leg forward. Bring the left hand down. Open up the hip to the side. Bring the right sole of the foot down. Go into a side angle variation. Lift the right arm up to the sky. And then pull it over your ear to create some space in the side body. Really breathe into your ribs here. Good. Left fingers grab into the ground. And then we come back down. Knees next to each other. Hands next to each other. Second side. Left leg goes back, right arm goes forward, good. And then bend the leg, bend the arm, and then really activate the back, open up even more. Exhale, round, curl it in, very good. Inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it together. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, create space. Exhale, round. Good. We open one more time. Inhale, open up. 
and exhale, choose your variation. Grab a hold of the foot, keep arm and leg extended. If you can hold the foot, then press with the foot into the hand. Open up the chest and that right shoulder. Keep your neck relaxed and breathe into that space. Good. Take another full breath in. Full breath out. And then we extend arm and leg. And then bring the right hand down, open up the hip to the side, place the left foot down, come onto the right arm, side angle variation, right fingertips up, and then over your head to really extend that side body. You want to pull your ribs apart, breathe into that space. Good, one more. And then come back to center. Knees next to each other, the lower legs parallel to each other, and then come onto the fingertips and start walking your hands forward for Anahata Asana. You want to drop the upper body towards the ground. Maybe you can bring the chin to the mat or maybe the forehead, depending on what's better for your neck, but you could always just hover here wherever you reach. What you want is to feel how your chest opens, your shoulders open. Really allow your heart to melt down into the ground. Anahata in Sanskrit means heart. So this is the posture of the heart. We really want to open up the heart space. Breathe into it. And remember the quality of acceptance, of kindness throughout this practice. So whenever you feel struggling or whenever something goes differently than you expect it, try and stay very soft with yourself. Take another deep breath here. Full breath out. And slowly walk the hands back towards the upper body. Place the hands back down, but rather one hand further than the shoulders. Tilt the insides of the elbows forward to rotate the upper arms out. We tuck the tails and we come into our first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shanasana. You can take it easy. Walk on the spot for the first time here in your downward facing dog. Give some space to the back of your legs. Maybe softly shake your head, yes and no, just to release any tension in the neck. Good. And come onto the tiptoes. Bend the knees generously. Press the belly towards the thighs. Lift that lower belly in and up to lengthen out the lower back. Press up through the arms. Two deep and full breaths here. Good, and then we want to get more energy going. So on your next inhale, you drop the knees towards the ground as if you wanted to come in quadruped, but you don't actually, don't touch the ground, but instead lift the hips up again into your downward facing dog. We do two more. Inhale, hover the knees just above the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more. Inhale, hover the knees, bend the knees, and exhale, downward facing dog, good. Inhale, this time float forward all the way into your high plank, think cat back, open the back of the heart. Exhale, bend the knees, come back into your downward facing dog. Two more, big wavy movement, inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, bend the knees, lead with the tail, downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, come forward into your high plank, Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank pose. Now this time, exhale, send the knees down. Keep the elbows closed, lower all the way down onto the ground. Point the toes, send the heart forward. Roll the shoulders back, Cobra Bhujangasana. Let's stay for the exhale. Really press those tops of the feet down. Release the hands, inhale into the chest. Exhale, tilt the palms up to the sky and pull the elbows further back. Last one, inhale, and exhale, hands down, tuck the toes over the knees, come back into your downward facing dog, good, inhale here, full exhale, inhale, lift that right leg up into the sky, exhale, bring the knee to the chest and then step the foot between the hands, come onto the fingertips, weight forward, inhale into half forward fold, and exhale, fold all the way down, Uttanasana, good job. One more time, inhale, send the heart forward, bend the knees, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold all the way down. Come to standing with a straight back, bend the knees, inhale, arms over the side, Urdhva 
Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart up, but keep that lower back long. Let's do that again. Inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, lift the pubic bone, but open the chest. Okay, inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, through the center, come into your deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha, flat back. Exhale, step back into your plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, with the knees or maybe without, lower all the way down. Point the toes. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, offer the heart. Exhale, come back, downward facing dog. Feel free to use the knees. Left leg up, inhale into the sky. Exhale, big step forward, use your core. Whole body activates. Inhale, step to the top of the mat, flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, come to standing, take the arms over the side. Let's do that again. On the exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart up. Don't curve the lower back, lift the pubic bone up. Inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, open the heart. Good. Inhale, send the arms up. Keep flowing. Exhale through the center. Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, long back. And exhale, step into your plank pose. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way, with or without the knees, maybe half for Chaturanga. Keep the elbows in. Inhale, up dog, only if you're ready, you can choose a cobra. Exhale, lead with the tail, downward facing dog. Let's stay, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Look to the top of the mat. On your inhale, walk all the way forward into your half forward fold. Open the feet a bit wider. Exhale, fold all the way down. Bend the knees, soft forward fold. Grab a hold of your opposite elbows. And then drop the head down. You can make soft yes and no tilts with the head just to release any tension in the back. Breathe into that upper back. Let's just take a moment for that energy to circle through the body. Good. Deep inhale. Full exhale. And then bend the knees generously. Release the arms. Roll your way up. Vertebra by vertebra. Take your time. Shoulders, neck and head come very last all the way to standing, good. Take the feet together, roll the shoulders up one more time on the inhale. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, generous gesture, arms over the side, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, fold through the center for your Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, in one breath, step or hop back. If you practice this, lower all the way or half. Inhale through your back bend, cobra or up dog. Open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg up, three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, pull the knee forward, step the foot through. Left knee down. Low lunge. Inhale, inhale arms alongside the ears. Exhale, cactus the arms. Again, you don't have to lean back a lot. Lift that pubic bone, bring the tailbone down, but open that heart space. Let's just stay for another deep breath here. Full exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, this time interlace all 10 fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades together, back and down. Hands away from the bum. Pull the right hip crease back. Don't just sink into the pose. Active legs. Breathe into your heart space. The heart is also the center of transformation. And it's related to the air element. So create some space through your breath. Without exaggerating, smooth breath. Good. On your next inhale, send the arms up to the sky. Exhale, place the hands down, release the knee. Carefully, without sliding, step back with control. Exhale, lower all the way or half. You can always use the knee. Inhale through your back bend, cobra or the up dog, whatever suits you today. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale up into the sky. 
Exhale, pull it forward intentionally with care. Place the foot, right knee down, stabilize the legs. Inhale, reach the arms and the heart up and forward. Exhale, cactus the arms. Let's stay. Inhale, create space. Exhale, activate the back. Good. Inhale. And exhale, hands behind the body. Interlace one finger further than you have before. Pull the shoulder blades together. Don't crunch that lower back. You can go further if you feel very comfortable. Just keep some integrity in your pose. Pull the right knee forward, the left heel back. Breathe into the chest area. Good. Take another deep breath in. Full breath out. Send the arms up on the inhale. And on the exhale, bring the hands down, release the back knees, step back, choose a flow, or you can always go into your downward facing dog or another resting pose if you feel you need a little bit of a break to catch your breath. Feel free to take a deep breath in through the nose. Maybe sigh it out through the mouth, just to release any build up tension. Ine, come into the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. You can step, walk, or hop to the top of your mat for your half forward fold, lengthening through the spine. And exhale, folding all the way. Come to standing, inhale, reach the arms up over the side. And exhale, cactus the arms one more time. Open up the chest, and then bring the hands together in front of the heart center. Feel that energy that you're drawing towards yourself and bringing it to your heart. Close the eyes or rest the eyes on one focus point. Observe the sensations in your body. And maybe you tell yourself, Aham prema, I am love. It's a wonderful way to practice non-judgment and acceptance, no matter if this flow for you today is very challenging or very easy, or if it's very different than what you expected. Just try and be with it. Don't let your mind rush off. Get ready, open your eyes. On the inhale, sit deep for your chair pose, Utkatasana. Keep that lower back nice and long. Stay for your exhale. Good. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale, hands behind the body, interlace all 10 fingers. One more time, inhale, open up the heart without curving that lower back. Exhale, fold forward, drop the hands over your head. You can keep the knees soft, we'll stay here for a moment. Feeling those shoulders opening, feeling the breath flowing. Take another deep breath in. Full breath out. Activate the core, inhale, sit back into your chair pose, arms alongside the ears, create a long line from the tail, and exhale, fold all the way down, deep forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, step or hop back, flow through your vinyasa with or without the knees. Controlled movement, take your time, synchronize with the breath, and meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up into the sky. Exhale, big step forward. Now really activate the legs. Crescent lunge. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, send the arms up. Now exhale, this time twist from the navel. Open to the right side. Right arm goes behind the body. Left arm goes forward. Stabilize through the legs. You can either stay this way or maybe bring the right hand onto the left back of the thigh, left hand up and pull it up towards the sky. So you really feel that left groin and the front side of the body opening. Breathe into the pose. One more breath here. And then we keep moving on. So on the inhale, send the right arm up. Exhale, bring the left heel down, warrior two. Pull the feet towards each other. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, stabilize. Maybe sit a bit lower. Right knee points forward. Inhale, just the upper body. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, keep moving into your side angle. Parshva Konasana, dancing warrior. We keep going. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Lean back. And exhale, side angle. 
Good. One more like that. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Lean back. Exhale, side angle. We stay, option to stay here or to move onto a block or onto the ground. Either way, keep the chest nice and open. Drop that right shoulder, take another deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, come back into your warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg without locking the knee. Activate the thigh. Slide down for your triangle pose. Take that upper shoulder back. Stay light on the right hand. And if you're comfortable, you can take that left arm over the ear like you would in side angle. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Bend the right knee slightly. Inhale, upper body back up. Exhale, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Inhale, lean back. And exhale, windmill the hands down to the ground. And one movement, step back, lower all the way or half. Inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Left leg, inhale up into the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward. Activate the legs. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, open up the heart, elbows on shoulder height. Inhale, send the arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist the upper body. Left arm goes behind the body, right arm goes forward. Again, option to stay in this variation. Option to bring the left hand onto the right hamstring. Right palm up and arm up to the sky. You want to feel that nice opening in the front body. Good. Full breaths. Smooth breaths, don't exaggerate your breathing. And then on your next inhale, both arms up, look forward. Exhale, moving on into warrior two, right heel down. Adjust the step if you have to, left knee points forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Stay for the exhale. Good. Inhale, peaceful warrior. For dancing, keep moving. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, peaceful. Very soft fluid movements. Exhale, Parshva Konasana, side angle. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, come into your side angle, stay. Again, option to stay here or to move onto your prop or onto the ground. Just choose the same variation as on the first side if you can. Open up the heart towards the sky. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale into warrior two. Exhale, extend the front leg without straightening it. Lower, like straightening, but don't press through the knee is what I wanted to say. Take the upper body back. Take that upper shoulder back. Tilt the heart up to the sky and maybe bring the right arm over your ear. Breathe fully, gently, softly. And then look down to the ground, small bend in the front knee. Inhale, come back up to the Standing, exhale, warrior two. Flow backwards, inhale, peaceful warrior. Windmill the arms down, one movement. Bring the left foot back, come all the way down or half. Move through your back bend, offer the heart. And exhale, come over the knees or without into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good. Now, on the inhale, come into the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees. Come to the top of the mat, either step or hop into your half forward fold. And exhale, fold all the way down. Good, inhale, half lift. Now exhale, walk your feet further apart. Tilt the toes to point outwards and lower the hips down for your Malasana Yogi squat. So hips between the knees. If your heels come off, that's fine. You can prop them up or just stay hovering. And then once you're ready, bring the hands in front of the heart center, pull the shoulder blades back and down and really open up that heart space. So on every inhale, you create more space in the chest activating the back, pulling the shoulders back. And on the exhale, you drop the bum down, but you lift that pelvic floor up. So you have a nice and long spine, feeling that connection from the lowest part of the spine to the highest point. Take a couple of breaths here, using the moment to 
Reconnect with your breath. Filling the heart space with fresh air. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And side out through the mouth. Good. Release the hands in front of you and then straighten the legs for your forward fold. Heel toe the feet closer towards each other. Stay a moment. Knees can be soft. Good. Bring the hands towards the lower back, interlace all ten fingers. And then bend the knees, come into your chair pose with the open heart. Lower out that, lengthen out that lower back. So bring the table and down, breathe into the chest. One more, inhale. And exhale, come to standing. Keep the hands interlaced, breathe into the heart. And exhale, release the arms, right arm over the left one, grab a hold of your shoulder blades, bend the knees softly, round the back, chin into the chest. Good. Inhale, stand up, take the arms over the sides. We change the sides, left arm over the right one, bend the knees so you can lift that table and low, lengthen out that lower back, breathe into that upper back. Good. One more on each side, inhale. It's a very energetic movement. Exhale, give yourself a hug, lengthen the lower back, Open up the back door of your heart. Good. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, hug yourself. Open up the upper back. Good. Inhale, stand up. Arms out to the sides. Open up a lot of space. Exhale, bring the energy back together in front of the heart. You can move really, really slowly and see if you notice any tingling sensation between your hands until they finally meet. Thumbs touch your sternum. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Aham prema, I am love. I am energy. I accept myself. Take another deep breath here. Full breath out. Get ready, open the eyes. Inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, fold all the way down. Deep forward fold. Inhale, lift the heart forward. Exhale, choose a flow, a vinyasa, or directly go into your downward facing dog. We can meet there. Try and be controlled in your movements. If your shoulders get tired, just bring the knees down. And then lift your right leg up for three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot forward between the hands. High lunge. Inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. We lean forward. Again, draw in that lower belly. Come forward onto your right leg. Press up onto your warrior three. You can keep both legs bended for a moment. Arrange your hips, level the hips, and then straighten the legs when you're ready. Keep the heart open. If you're comfortable, bring your arms alongside the bodies. Body, palms facing outward. Really open up the chest. Good. Long and deep breaths here. And then bring the hands together, draw the belly in, stand up, pull the left leg through, knee up to the chest. Now grab a hold of that left ankle with your left hand, bring the heel towards the bum, level your hips, right arm goes forward. Bring the tip of the thumb and the index finger together. It's related to our air element. Bend that right leg slightly and then press into that foot for the foot into the hand for your dancer pose, Natarajasana. See how far you can go. You want to open up the front body, kind of like a bow, and breathe into that space. Don't have to go very far. Don't have to go very deep. Just keep your balance. Keep your breath. Good. Let's take another deep breath here. And then slowly stand up, bring the knee into the chest, grab a hold of it with both hands just for a moment to lengthen up that lower back. Activate the core, come back into your warrior three in any variation that you like. Inhale here. Step the foot back. Good. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, right leg into three-legged dog. 
Now this time we open up the heel, hip, heel towards the bum, knee points up. Option to stay, option to roll the left heel down for your wide thing. Drop the right foot behind you, come onto the left hand. You can bring the hips down, this will make it easier. And then send the hips up, bring that right arm over your ear for a nice opening of the chest of the groins. Full breath in, full breath out. Come back, you can bring the hips lower to flip back over into your plank pose. Vinyasa on one leg or two or with the knees or without, whatever you practice. Inhale through your back bend and exhale downward facing dog. Wonderful. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it forward. Use the core. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Activate the core, lean forward. Slowly come forward, press with a lot of strength, less momentum onto your left leg for warrior three. Do whatever you need to adjust your hips and then straighten your legs. Roll that right thigh in. Keep the chest wide, it's like a mini cobra in your upper back. And you keep breathing. Good, one more. Activate the core before you stand up. Pull the right knee through and up to your chest. Bring the heel towards your bum. Grab a hold of the ankle with your right foot. Level the hips so both hips are pointing forward, right one as well. Extend your left arm out. You can bend the standing leg slightly. Tip of the thumb and the index together. Press into that right hand with your foot and then open up for your dancer pose, Natarajasana. Keep breathing slowly, fully with patience, with acceptance, even if it wobbles, even if you fall out of the pose, it's okay. Stay playful. Take another deep breath in. Full breath out. And then slowly stand up, bring the right knee through towards the chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. You can always set the foot down, take a break, or you move on into your warrior three favorite variation. Hands in front of the heart or alongside the body. Keep the chest open. And then bend that left leg, step the right foot far behind your crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, open up the hip. You can stay here, this is enough. Or you bring the right heel down, step the left foot behind you, sink the hips and then open up the heart for your wide thing, left arm over your ear. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Inhale, lift the hips a bit higher. Exhale, flip it back. You can lower the hips. Choose a vinyasa or a dog or a resting pose. Whatever feels good for you, open up the heart. And then exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Come onto your plank pose, roll forward, and exit with or without the knees, lower all the way down onto your belly. Beautiful, point the toes, inhale, height forward, and then exit, come into a sphinx pose. So we bring the shoulders right, the elbows right underneath the shoulders. So we have a nice right angle of the arms, elbows are close to the ribs, and if this is a bit tight for your lower back, open the feet a bit wider. Press the tops of the feet down. Now pretend like you wanted to pull the mat towards you with your hands. So you can really feel the back activating and send the heart forward. Press the chest forward. The neck stays relaxed. Your face stays relaxed. You can close the eyes or rest your gaze on one point. You can even detach from the screen for a moment. It's not necessary to watch me, but rather Really feel your body, what's happening in this pose, what's happening with your breath, are there any specific thoughts coming up? And whatever happens, you just want to accept it without judging or analyzing, without any rigid attempts to control, but rather you just observe, you accept, and you can just say, I am love. 
accept myself. I'm present. I am here. Beautiful. Breathe into your heart space. Take a last deep breath here. And then you can place the hands on top of each other, bring the elbows out so you can lower the upper body down, forehead down onto the hands or on one side. Just take a moment to rebalance. I really want to remind you that these moments of pause are not for checking out, but really for checking in. How do I feel now after this pose? What is happening in my body? What is triggered in my mind? Constantly practicing to stay in the place of the observer. We're going for a second round. Either you do your Sphinx pose again, just as we did. If you were very comfortable, you can open your hands a bit wider from here and then extend your arms for a seal pose. Again, play with the distance between your feet for a comfortable angle in your lower back. You don't want to feel any compression or too much compression. Some stimulation is fine. Press that pubic bone down, pull your shoulders back and down. And then really dare and open up the heart. Back bends are always a bit scary because they're so different from our daily movement patterns. And they go against gravity. Sometimes we even have that bit of a feeling of vulnerability or of falling or of being exposed. But today you are in a safe space to explore these feelings, these sensations. Maybe there's really something there for you. Maybe you can just allow them. Breathe into your chest. Three more deep breaths. Lower the elbow if you're in your seal pose. Bring the hands on top of each other one more time. Release the upper body down. Bring your head to one side. And whichever side you're looking at, pull that knee along the ground. Like slide it up towards the elbow. Just staying for a little moment of a restorative pose. Stay present in your mind. Try and stay neutral. Enjoy the sensations after these hard opening practices. Good, and then slide that leg back, extend the legs, tuck the toes, hands under shoulders, draw the belly in, press up on your knees, and then hips back and up for your downward facing dog. Good, take a couple of bends in the knees here, move your hips, your knees. And then bring the knees down. Sit on your heels and then next to them, swing the legs around. And then sit upright for a twisted pose. Left leg stays extended or you can bend it. For Ardha Matsendrasana, step the right foot over. Bend the left leg in if you feel like you can still sit on both sits bones. Otherwise, keep it the way it is. Hug in that front leg, lift the chest up. Twist up and to the right side. Right fingertips are being placed down just gently for support and open up their heart space. And feel free to close the eyes. On every inhale, feel the full length of your spine. On the exhale, maybe twist open just a little bit more. Stay for two more breaths here. Inhale, come back to center. And on the exhale, soft counter twist. So really here again, you can drop forward so you open up that backside of the heart, the upper back, releasing any leftover tension, and then come back to center, exchanging the sides. Again, the right leg can be extended or bent, but you want to sit upright, lift the Sternum up, so the chest lengthen through the spine, twist open to the left side, fingertips down. Pull the left shoulder back, send the right shoulder forward. Rest your gaze or close the eyes, so one more time you withdraw from any external form. How does this pose look on me? How does it look on you? 
Rather focus on how it feels and if you feel any tension somewhere. Just as this quote said, we just want to discover where we have built up tension and blockages and protective measures of which some we might be able to let go. It's just a question if we dare to look at ourselves. So just breathe into whatever sensations you feel. Good. On your next inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lean over to the right side, soft counter twist. For our last pose, extend your legs out in front of you. We'll be forward folding to compensate all that heart opening. It's a really nice way to bring that energy back in. So if you feel you're really sitting on your table and a lot that happens, then just bend your knees generously so you can come forward in your pelvis and your hips. The lower back is nice and long. And we'll go into a forward fold quite softly. You can keep your hands open in a gesture of surrender, of, of receiving rather than trying to grab anything or hold anything or pull and rather just lean forward. If it's comfortable, you can even relax the hat forward. See how that feels in your neck, in your upper back, in your spine. And just kind of melt into this rather introverted pose. We've exposed ourselves throughout this practice, generated a lot of energy. And it's a nice moment to reflect and see how we feel now. Connect with our innermost self. Surrendering to whatever we discovered in this practice. Really fully accepting now this moment, staying present, compassionate with ourselves, even if we have the tendency of wanting to achieve anything here in this pose or in this practice, or if our mind is rushing us to end this practice. Just stay with all of that. Breathe into your upper back. One more time, feel how you can create space just through conscious breathing. Allow your exhales to become a bit longer. <sighs> Take a last deep breath here. Feel free to side out. Letting go of your Ujjayi breath if you practiced. And then softly press the hands into the ground Lift your way up. Now you have two options. You can either lay down on your back if you have time for a Shavasana, or you can come with me into a seated meditation. If you want to take a Shavasana, feel free to pause the video, but come back to the end of the video so you can really finish the class with your intention. Now, if you want to sit upright like me, you can sit on a prop just for a moment. Hold, grab a hold of your knees and lift the heart. So after this back bend, you open up, up again these energy channels, maybe lift the chin just slightly, pull the shoulders back, full breath, good, and then find a comfortable upright seat, you can place your hands on your legs or in your lap, or maybe you want to place your hands onto your heart center, rest your eyes closed or just softly on one focus point and just take a moment to observe how you feel after this practice, feel the warmth rushing through the body, Feel the warmth of your palms, the energy in your hands. Feel a gentle smile around your lips. Remind yourself that you have a big, compassionate heart. You have so much love and so much kindness in you. Maybe for a last time, repeat your mantra. Aham prema, I am love. Maybe you can make a little resolve that whenever you encounter yourself being critical with yourself, harsh on others, to reconnect with that heart space of yours. Take a deep breath before you react. Come from a place of love and kindness. Turn your palms in front of the heart center, lower your fingertips down to the forehead. Take a moment to thank yourself for taking the time for this practice. Say thanks for your body, for the life that flows through you. 
Just take a moment of gratitude. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Take a moment to clear your gaze. Thank you so much for your practice. I hope you feel wonderful, relaxed, warm, and full of love. Thank you so much. Please take a moment to leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't, maybe leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and to know how you felt about this practice. If you have any questions, I will always answer. And then I really hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.